Hello lovelies! I hope your summer is off to an amazing start and if you are looking for a cool and refreshing way to get your day started, then today you are in luck because I am sharing three yummy summer inspired smoothie recipes that are sure to beat the summer heat. Now I have to tell you guys, Elle is growing like crazy. She's 18 months now and she has just discovered smoothies, which of course makes me so happy. She is loving them, but her very favorite smoothie is this first one I am going to show you. It's inspired by the taste of the tropics and it's totally irresistible. It all starts with some pineapple and some mango. I'm using frozen fruit in all of today's recipes because of course they add a nice chill to your smoothie without watering it down. And then to that, I am going to add a good splash of coconut milk. Now you can add as little or as much coconut milk as you want. But again, we're going for a really nice tropical flavor here. So I'm adding about a quarter of a cup and then to that, I am going to add some orange juice. So this is some orange juice that doesn't have any additional sugar added to it. If you're not a fan of adding juice to your smoothies, it's totally fine. You can skip the juice here and use say some vanilla flavored almond milk instead. That would be really yummy. But I do love the citrusy flavor of the juice and because it's got natural sweetness in it, I'm not going to add any additional sweetener to this. If you are using, say, an unsweetened almond milk in this recipe, you might want to add just a touch of honey to add a bit more sweetness. At this point, we're ready to pop a lid on our blender and give this all a good whirl. It takes absolutely no time and what you end up with is this gorgeous smoothie that not only looks like sunshine, but it tastes like it too. Have I mentioned this is also my current favorite smoothie? So super good. Now, if you're looking for a smoothie that's equally summery, but a little more dessert inspired, then I think you will absolutely love this amazing vanilla peach and raspberry smoothie. Oh my gosh, right? So many great flavors in one smoothie. And it basically starts with some frozen peaches. I'm obsessed with frozen peaches right now. I love them, Elle loves them. Um, obviously fresh peaches are delicious too, but we want these to be nice and cold and refreshing for the summer. So frozen peaches, I find, is the way to go here. I'm also going to be adding some frozen raspberries. So frozen raspberries are great because as you probably know, fresh raspberries don't tend to last that long in the refrigerator but frozen raspberries will just last forever. It's so wonderful. To that, I'm going to be adding some vanilla protein powder. So the protein powder in this smoothie is almost going to make it taste like cake. I don't know how else to explain it. It's super dessert-like, really, really rich and delicious. Um, now you can use any type of protein powder that you like. A lot of you guys ask me what kind of protein powder I use in my smoothies. And the honest truth is protein powder is quite pricey. So I usually just buy whatever is on sale. I don't actually have a preference for one protein powder or another. If there is a protein powder that you absolutely love, definitely share it in the comment section because I always love your suggestions and maybe I will give it a try. To that, I'm going to be adding some milk. So I'm using almond milk here, but any kind of milk will do in this recipe. It's very, very forgiving. And then my friends, we are going to get our lid on our blender and just let this blend away. Oh my gosh, guys, what is not to love about this color? Oh, it smells so good. We are going to pour it into our glass and come on, who would not want to start their day with this beautiful smoothie? Dessert for breakfast, guys. What is not to like about that? Last but not least, guys, I've got another bright, sunshiny option for you. Once again, I'm going to be using frozen peaches in this recipe. To my peaches, this time I am going to be adding a banana. So my banana is nice and ripe, which adds some natural sweetness to this. And then I'm also going to be adding a secret ingredient to this smoothie. It's ground turmeric, and if you've never had it, it is incredible. It's got a ton of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, so it's really, really good for you. Now, the flavor can be a bit strong for some people, which is why I love putting it in something like a smoothie, because once it's all blended up with all of this other yumminess, you can barely detect it. But of course, you get all of the great health benefits. At this point, my final step is going to be adding my liquid to this. Now, I once again am using some natural orange juice because I really love 
the tart and tangy flavor. If you wanna skip the orange juice, go ahead and use some almond milk, some oat milk, or even some soy milk would be great in this recipe as well. We'll give this all a quick blend, and there you go, guys. What you end up with is basically sunshine in a glass. I hope you will give all three of these sunshiny smoothie ideas a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you guys know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, all of these recipes are linked in the description box below so you can find them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.